final seconds before Bobby Kremens and the Jackets escape with their fifth victory of the season. They are now 5-1. and one. And I guess when you think about this game, there are a bunch of plays you think of, but Georgia had their chances, but they couldn't get the foul off. Precious seconds tick by, and that's trouble for Hugh Durham. And you trap and rotate, and with 15 seconds, foul. But we didn't. You know, we get out there and we chase the ball around and we don't foul until 2.8 seconds to go. And, and that, that was a, uh, not a, a good move on our part there. Yeah, the last 22 seconds or so, Hugh Durham says he wanted his team to try and get the foul around 15, but as you can tell, it just did not happen. As a matter of fact, the clock went all the way down to 2.8 seconds before Travis Best was fouled. Now, it's a one-point game at this point. A one-point game. But why didn't Tech try to foul, or Georgia try to foul earlier? Hey, Drew Barry will get out on the break. Shannon Anderson says, don't bring that in here. Drew Barry with the dunk, but watch what happens afterwards. Says, get out of here, Shannon with the shove. Technical foul. Oh, did that ever turn this game around? And then the little guy, Travis Best, 24 big points. Georgia Tech fans were going crazy. Off the bank, it will go 72-69 the final. James Forrest said this win was something special. It definitely feels good, you know, because I know a lot of guys on the teams for during the summertime, you know, they always talk about bragging rights, so I think I have the advantage again this year. It's always a good rivalry with us in Georgia Tech. I'm, uh, sorry it turned out this way, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. We have to